Hello YouTube, it's Erbo here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something crazy and at the same time a little scary and that is the death of Fortnite. I'm pretty much convinced Fortnite is dying and Epic Games is at fault. Now I have some proof and some different things to back up my opinion that I think you guys will be interested in. I'm not just trying to spread negativity, I truly believe I have some valid points and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on them as well. Also I still love Fortnite and I know some of you guys do too, so I'm doing a giveaway on this video for some V-Bucks. If you want to chance to win, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, drop a like on the video, and leave a comment with your in-game name and the system you play on. I'll either send you guys a code to redeem on whatever system you're on, or depending on when the Fortnite gifting system comes out, I could just send you a gift from the item shop, but getting right into why I think Fortnite is dying. So I think we could all agree that Fortnite has reached its peak of growth. Fortnite has been out now for a year and it's on just about every system possible. Everybody and their dog knows what Fortnite is. Now I'm going to throw up the adoption model on the screen that I think fits Fortnite just so you guys can visualize what I'm talking about. So as you guys can see here, according to the bell curve, I think that we are in the late majority stage. Pretty much all hardcore gamers either play Fortnite or have at least given it a try and all that is left are casual gamers or people that just aren't interested in playing video games right now and Epic Games knows this. They have clearly realized that things are slowing down and some of their in-game changes and updates are reflecting this. What I mean is that they're trying to make their game more appealing to the casual gamer. They're doing their best to remove skill gaps without blatantly saying it or making it too obvious to players which I think is resulting in the death of their game. Now let me explain. First, let's think about the mechanics that create a skill gap. The first one that comes to mind is building. Building is easily the number one factor that sets a good player apart from a bad player. Imagine installing Fortnite for the first time today and jumping into a game. I guarantee you would get destroyed. You're probably going to be mediocre when it comes to shooting, however this game does have bloom so maybe you could get lucky, and also you probably have no idea how to build. Experienced players will take advantage of you, they'll trap you in a 1x1, one one, shoot you in the traps with bounce pads, or just beat you to death with their bright pink dildos. Now if you're a casual gamer giving Fortnite a try for the first time, this would definitely be discouraging and you wouldn't want to play anymore. So how can Epic nerf building without pissing off their entire current player base? Well, they can nerf the gathering of mats, which is exactly what they did. They drop mats from 30 down to 20 in chest, and they also change llamas from 500 of each material down to 250, because we all know that llamas were way too overpowered, everybody complained about them, right? Some other changes made recently to cater towards new players is traps. Epic thought it was a good idea to change the damage of traps from 75 up to 150 and whoever suggested that needs to be fired immediately. This just encourages bad players to camp inside buildings and let their traps get the kills for them. Yet another thing they've changed to appeal to people that have never played a video game before in their life is the explosive damage buff. Why should one C4 destroy an entire building? Tell me how that is a good game mechanic. Whenever I get into a fight and begin to outbuild somebody, they instantly pull out rockets or a grenade launcher and just start spraying and completely shoot me down. I'm sure I'm not the only person that has encountered this, it's just straight up annoying. And the last thing, the double pump. Epic has been nerfing the double pump for three seasons now. There is such a delay on pulling out a pump shotgun, you can't even build and shoot anymore. They did this because new players were complaining, so they completely removed this skill gap from the game. Now everybody is forced to either use a submachine gun or you just have to pray that your shotgun could do more than 6 damage and that glitch has been in the game for as long as I can remember, I don't understand why it's not fixed. Now you might be wondering why, why is Epic doing this to their game, well because it makes sense for business. They're trying to make Fortnite as appealing as possible to casual gamers or people that might just now be getting into video games, they want them playing Fortnite. It's not fun to get outplayed so they're trying to remove that possibility and they want these new players to stick around and invest their money into skins or into the battle pass. That's their goal which you can't really blame them, they are a business at the end of the day. But in doing so, they're pushing away their dedicated players that made their game popular in the first place. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully I didn't get too ranty in this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section and have a few conversations with some of you about everything that I mentioned. If you guys want a part two covering my ideas on a solution Epic Games could implement that can make good players happy along with new players, let me know. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.